Hey guys, in today's video we're going to show you how to use the part harvesting function during an audit. So in this example we're going to audit a specific pallet, in this case it's servers. Uh, we're going to allow the audit screen to open up and we're going to receive in our first item. So let's imagine you're receiving in a DL380G8 server and you take a look at the server and it has a part in there or a couple parts that you prefer to sell individually or potentially your contract stipulated you have to track the parent-child relationship of that particular part that's removed according to the contract so if that was the the case um, you would receive the item in add it into the system here and it would receive in the full server once the full server is received you're going to select the server here at the grid below and you're going to hit remove parts when I hit remove parts, it's going to change the uh, screen into a remove parts mode. So essentially, we're going to be removing parts from this serialized asset and this particular model. So I'm going to add in some CPUs. And what this is going to do is going to track that we pull these particular parts out of this unit. And it'll track that parent child relationship very nicely. And what's great about this, you'll be able to provide the proper reporting uh, back to your client. And if you're upcharging for the service, it's going to allow you to do it very seamlessly and easy. So as I add parts um, into the system, um, you're going to see here. That it adds quickly and you're gonna look under the parent UID column and it'll show you this asset came from this parent UID. So I'm gonna continue receiving other items and you know, I'll say there were two CPUs in there, I'll add them. And let's just say we had some sort of uh, video card. Just receive a random part add it in, choose a condition, pop in some notes, and send it to one of the uh, workflows or eventually send it to resale if need be. So once you're complete with the uh, part harvest and you pulled all the uh, parts out of this particular unit, um, you would hit end remove which is located at the top right. That brings you back into the standard audit and if we look below, you know, you'd be able to see the DL380 is right here and let me minimize the uh, panel here. But you can see these three parts came out of this parent UID. So you have 9551. And you know, if I did a copy real quick and pasted that in just to show you, um, you're gonna see the unit that it came out of. Now if I selected that unit and I hit part harvest on the uh, left tab over here, you would see that three parts were removed. And if you want to delete them or remove them back, um, you could select the appropriate buttons. So that's how you use the uh, part harvest mode and uh, hope you enjoy that feature. 